Hello everyone and welcome back to Real Living and welcome if you're new. My name's Ashley and today's video is jam-packed full of cleaning motivation. Deep cleaning motivation, restocking things in my kitchen. We have a lot going on. So come along with me and let's get motivated and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Did you ever stop and think Why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest I don't know a single thing that So if you guys saw last Saturday's video You will know that I took about a week off of cleaning my house To help my mother-in-law get her house clean So my house got extremely neglected But not only that I had some stuff left over that I had brought home from my dad's room. So I had a lot ahead of me. I had a lot going on in the house. I needed to um, get the living room started because there was a lot of stuff that I brought from dad. Um, I had a ton of dusting to do. I just, there was a lot going on. But getting the um, stuff that... I brought home from my dad's I had to end up finding a place to put it for right now I don't really have anywhere so I'm going to get a big tote and put it in that with a lid just to keep it safe but um, other than that it was just a lot of dusting going on in the house because it had been about a week since the last time I dusted I haven't done to make you notice me let me be real here when I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me Out there, where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling 
you're in closer to me I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Another thing that I had been really wanting to get done was uh, taking the couch apart and getting it clean. So I went ahead and started vacuuming everything, all of the cushions, taking them off of the couch as I got them vacuumed, and then went behind and vacuumed underneath where all the cushions would be. These uh, cushions could get pretty bad considering we do have three dogs and we allow all of our animals on the furniture. Even uh, in the future when we get a cat, um, I've, we've had a cat before, and we just, we allow our animals on the furniture. I know a lot of people don't and that's totally fine. I have nothing against that, but we let ours. So I try to keep up on vacuuming the couch and keeping the hair down off of the couch but sometimes it can be kind of hard i did have a comment um a few videos ago asking if my couch is a 1970s couch now honestly i don't know when this couch was made i don't have a date for that but it is a hand-me-down for my mother-in-law so it might be from the 70s but you know it's a hand-me-down it was free so i really am not complaining I know that it doesn't necessarily go with my decor or really my style, but um, it's also got holes and stuff like that, and it's just really old. But, you know, when it's free and you don't really have another choice and it's better than the one you had before, it's definitely an upgrade. Whether it's a hand-me-down or not, for us, it was definitely an upgrade, and I love the fact that I have a giant couch now and I don't have to have a bunch of chairs. I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold Is it really a bad reception out there? Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I lost you
hallway really wasn't too bad. I just had to take care of the little rug and the floors in the hallway. Um, I had kept up on the dusting in the hallway, but the hallway really doesn't get too bad in the dust department. Now, uh, collecting the dust and the hair towards the floor and around the corners and stuff, that is usually where the biggest issue is in the hallway. But other than that, the hallway is usually pretty much the easiest uh, small little room that I have to take care of. I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in Get out, you'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far Yeah, we could go for a ride The two of us, we don't have to stop Baby, let's go for a ride You and I, let us run away We can go where we want I'll have your For this week's recipe, I decided to marinate some chicken in some Italian dressing. I have done this since I was young uh, when I first learned how to cook. It's one of the easiest ways to marinate something and make it as quick and easy as possible. Um, the marinades and the salad dressings are already pre-mixed and they already have so much flavor in them that it's easy to just pour it over something and let it sit for a couple hours. So I did that and um, when I went to put it in the oven, I took it out of the pan that it was sitting in and drained the excess um salad dressing or marinade off of it and then put it back in. I didn't wipe off the chicken or anything like that. I simply switched them over, uh, got rid of the excess and then put them back. And then um, I just cooked some fingerling baby potatoes with it. So I cooked it at uh, 350 for the chicken. I cooked for about 45 minutes, 45, 55 minutes. And um, about a quarter to halfway through cooking the chicken, I put the potatoes in. And then usually everything will come out pretty much the same time. This time the chicken did have to go back in for a couple of minutes. I think it was only 15 minutes that it went back in. But um, I'm going to list everything in the description below. So if this looks like a quick and simple recipe for you guys, it really is. It tastes so good and I will make sure to list everything in the description so that you guys can try it yourselves. Just living off the edge Only good times ahead So let me put a smile upon your face Maybe make your worries go away So put your trust in Next up, we are working on the porch. Um, 
it turned out to get so hot working out here on this porch that it ended up being the only room that I got done that day because I was just kind of drained of energy after working out there. I did get started pretty early in the morning. I think it was about 10 o'clock or so, but I'm sure anybody who lives in the South or anywhere that's really hot right now, you can understand. It doesn't matter what time of day. It is hot. It's humid. It's muggy. It's just, it's crazy. Uh, you walk outside and you instantly break out into a sweat. So I tried to get this done as quickly as possible, but there was quite a bit of stuff I had to do. Tons of dusting um, because when we mow, it is just a screened in area. So lots of dust and debris does come in, but uh, lots of dusting and taking care of the floors and the tables. But I tried to get it done as fast as possible because it was just so hot. I wanted to go back inside. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, where you're from and how hot it's been lately. Does it feel like one of the hottest summers to you or is it just me? I know everybody says that it feels like it gets hotter every summer. And I know that's not necessarily true. But uh, it does feel like it. Um, I know some of us have had some record temperatures and things like that. But drop me a comment down below and let me know what's going on in your area.
Moving into the kitchen, and it was probably one of the more elaborate cleanings that I had to get done. There was a lot going on in the kitchen. Um, I was able to keep up on basic things like the dishes and stuff like that, but overall, my kitchen really needed a good deep clean. So I had to get um, some stuff restocked. I needed to refill some spices and things of that nature. But uh, yeah, the kitchen definitely turned out to be a little bit more of a project than I expected. But um, that is kind of what happens when you don't get to everything like you normally would because you're off doing other things. So pretty much life got in the way and my kitchen is a result of that. Did you ever stop and think Why spend too much time just getting ready Let me be honest I don't know a single thing That I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love Oh, nah, 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 nah Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love Oh, oh, nah, nah. These dishes that you see here are absolutely filthy and these are some dishes that I got from my dad they were in a box in his closet so I ended up bringing them home because I can use them uh, some loaf pans pie dishes things like that the gravy boat um, the these dishes he didn't really use very often so when they were at his house they usually just sat back in the cabinet and just collected dust and all of the oils and everything that's in the air in a kitchen. So that is why they are so horrible. They were never cleaned because they were never used. And then they were put into a box and just stored in his closet. So I really needed to get those clean. I don't know what I could say to convince you to hang around. So much that I'm still keeping to myself Cause you don't listen, babe But still you got me missing you When I see you, my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Another project that I wanted to do was uh, get my pantry reorganized and cleaned out. So shelf by shelf, I took everything out, wiped it down, and then restocked it into a more organized fashion. But 
it was definitely um, driving me a little bit crazy seeing everything, especially with the kids and everybody. They'll grab something and they just throw it back and they don't really pay attention to where it goes. I guess that's just the way moms are. We're the ones that try to take care of that, but I am guilty of doing the same thing. So I can't blame it all on them. I know I take some blame in that. So I wanted to go ahead and get everything cleaned up and just reorganized and make it look a little bit more cohesive. It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love Oh, nah, 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 nah Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love Oh, oh, nah, nah God, I'm sick
I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I am still going to try to break up the videos um, and try to post a video, even if it's a little bit shorter, on Wednesdays. I'm going to try to keep it for Wednesdays. But for right now, um, it's kind of a testing type of situation. We'll see what I can get out, um, how well it responds. I know a lot of y'all were really, really excited to see a video posted on Wednesday instead of just Saturday. So I'm glad that y'all are liking it so far and I'm definitely going to try to keep that up. But I really hope that you got some motivation from this video. Uh, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And um, hopefully we'll see you Wednesday. But if not, oh, it will definitely be next Saturday. But hopefully, fingers crossed, everything is going to work out. And I can try to at least get a couple of videos um, each week. But definitely one video every Saturday. So fingers crossed we can keep up on this Wednesday stuff. And drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you all later.